So this is a review of some sort of the Offworld Outlander. This is a small version, the 9-inch version. I got this on eBay for $11.50, brand new. I believe retail is $40, so I got a pretty good deal on it. This is the, um, the version that has the VML surface, okay? It's gonna, so it's going to be a little bit more articulate. Uh, it has a really nice bounce to it. I was actually surprised. The bottom has the neoprene, which keeps it firmly in place. And the rim is a little different than the... Hang on one second. It's a little different than the V3. The V3 has this big, beefy rim. Okay? Indestructible, basically. This has the rim that's... Well, let's just say it's a little bit more delicate, all right? It still has a good rim to it, so if you want to play rim shots, you can do that. Uh, you can't really do... Well, you can do cross shots. Okay, so it's got a rim to it. It's got a, a VML surface at the bottom that I don't believe that you can actually... Well, you can play on it, I guess. I wouldn't recommend playing on that very very long because I believe it probably would uh, probably pierce it uh, after a, a period of time. I'm not really sure because I don't play on that side. But this side here really rebounds uh, really nice. And just like with any pad, the rebound to me depends on what you set it on. So if I'm setting it on this uh, this in, this Vader pad, it gives it. Pretty good bounce. Put it on the hard side. About the same. So, if you're looking for a small pad, I mean, this is a small pad, okay? Uh, I taught a lesson using this the other day, and you can put this in your lap. If you're one of these that sit down and you give lessons in a seated area, and you want to put this on your lap, it's not so small that you can't do that. I would recommend having a larger pad to put this on top of, though, because uh, it can get a little unwieldy. Uh, but it's very uh, very light, but it's very solid, okay? It's got the, the logo here, uh, and they also send you with a pad one additional um, sticker to go in the middle. So once this uh, wears away, which I've, I've played on this every day for about two weeks, and I do a lot of playing, so... Uh, it really hasn't worn at all, but once it does, you can peel it up and you can put the, uh, the additional one there. I'm not sure that you can peel this up, if you, but if you do, it's got the black matter uh, underneath. Uh, and I did uh, spray a little Windex on this today to get some of the stick marks off because when I back stick, I believe the white paint uh, or something is coming off of these uh, Ralph Hardimans. So, anyway... I'm really, really impressed with it, especially the cost. I mean, 11 bucks, even a brand new one for 40 would be a good deal because it, it really bounces well. Uh, very good response. It has a rim. It's not super duper loud. It is louder than, let's say, this old innovative percussion. It is a little bit louder. But you know what you're getting when you get one of the uh, one of the off-world products because they're all about that loud. Uh, I will say it is not nearly as loud as the Biosphere, which uh, I think I'll do another video and I'll compare all of the different uh, off-world products. I've got one sitting right here. Uh, they're not making these anymore, but this is the shuttle pad. A little bit different sound than the Outlander. They make a full version uh, Outlander like this, and they also make one in between that, I believe. So they've got the 9-inch, they've got one in between them, they've got the large one. Uh, but if you need one to go in your backpack, if you're uh, teaching lessons or if you're a student and you need something that's uh, portable, I think this is your pad. Uh, the, uh, you could get a Zymox, but you have to wait for a year or longer to get those. Uh, they're, they're actually larger than this. 
Uh, they're the 12 inch models, I believe. They make a 12 and a 14. But this is a 9 inch off world Outlander. Check it out. Keep on drumming. <laughs>